Mario 3. This game overall is pretty easy. For the first stage, just hold right and the B button. And run against this pipe. Now you jump over the piranha flower enemy like this. Keep holding right and the B button so you don't lose your P speed. P speed you say? More on this later. Now you can just jump over the enemies. Bounce off this Koopa Troopa so you can go up here. Now full jump and bounce off this other Koopa Troopa. For stage 1-2. You'll wanna hold right and B again. Now you can just jump over the pipes and bounce off these enemies. Watch out for this Goomba. Now just jump off this music box and bounce off this Goomba before finishing the screen. Okay. On to the next stage. Stage 1-3 and we are running and jumping again. Oh yeah. Some people like to go up here so you can get this extra life. But a thoughtful and crafty gamer like yourself probably doesn't need it. So just keep going. And make sure to get this mushroom. Watch out for this boomerang throwing enemy. Now you can go here and hold down on the D-pad. Wait until you fall through the block so you can go behind the end of the screen. Here you can pick up the first warp whistle. Hey that is cheating. No it isn't. Yes it is. No it isn't. Yes it is. No it isn't. Yes it is. Guys. Please. Enough. Moving on. On to Castle 1. To beat Castle 1. Just jump over these pits filled with lava. There is a backup mushroom here if you need it. Wait here. Now you can go to the end of the screen and pick up the leaf sub weapon. Now you can use your P speed to fly up here. But don't get hit by this flying disco ball. It's bad. Now you can get the second warp whistle. When you get back to this screen, blow your warp whistle like this. And go to the warp zone. Blow your warp whistle again and... Time for the final stages. Stage 8 has a bunch of auto-scrollers. So good luck with that. But the best way to get through these auto-scrollers is just to be careful. And don't lose your raccoon suit. So you can use your cute little raccoon tail to take out these wrench-throwing enemies. To beat the mini boss, just jump on the head of the blue boomerang throwing enemy. Onto the next stage and we are on a boat now. Just jump over these cannons and avoid getting hit by these wrench throwing enemies. To beat the mini boss, just jump on its head. Now wait until the boss stops flashing so you can jump on its head two more times. Perfect. It's okay if you get pulled in by these moving hand thingies. Just jump over the Hammer Brothers and break these blocks. There is a power up here if you need it. This screen is hard. So watch out for these flying bird things. It's okay if you take a little damage. You can just use your leaf sub weapon before starting the next stage. To get through the airship, make sure to stay near the right side of the screen. Now you can just jump over the pits without getting hit in the face by these wrench throwing enemies. Try to bounce off the wrench throwing enemies. To defeat the mini boss. Make sure to bounce on its head before it starts flying. Well done. Stage 8-1 is very dark. So just use your P-Speed and fly up here. Now you can go down this pipe and collect some extra lives. Before using your P-Speed again and bouncing off the corner like this. Immediately spam the B button as you exit the pipe so you fly like this. 
and use your cute little raccoon tail to take out this piranha flower enemy near the end of the screen. Onto stage 8-2. This screen is pretty easy. You just go down this quicksand so you can collect the power up here if you need it. It's okay if you take a little damage from this piranha flower enemy. Because you can just run down this hill and hold B as you bounce off the Koopa Troopa. Nice. Okay. Make sure to use the invincibility sup weapon before starting Castle 8. Now run and flip like a ninja through the beginning of the screen. Make sure to stop and get the fire flower sub weapon before going through this door. Now just hold right and jump off these moving platforms without falling in the pits filled with lava. Go in here so you can hit this button. And use your P speed to get to the end of the screen. Now collect this coin. So you can go down here and activate the next button. You're going to have to duck after going in this door. So remember to duck so you don't take damage on these spike things. When you get here. You can just throw your fireballs at the mini boss until it dies. Hooray. I can't believe there is another freaking auto scroller. Yeah but this is the last one and it is super easy. You just go to the right side of the screen and hold right the whole time. But make sure to jump over the cannons and take out these wrench throwing enemies near the end of the screen. Another mini boss. A few more fireballs and... Done. Okay. Time for the fantastic conclusion. Run. Jump. Go up here. Climb. Wait here. Use this clip. Now you can jump across these blocks before going in this door. Watch out. Okay. Final boss time. To beat Bowser. Avoid the fireballs. And duck under Bowser's hitbox when he tries to jump on your head. Now you can keep holding down on the D-pad. It's okay if you take a little damage during the fight. Just make sure to duck and keep moving until the fight is over. Oh yeah! If you want to try this quicker kill on Bowser, you can go up here and throw your fireballs like this. Now move here when Bowser tries to jump on your head. Keep jumping and hitting Bowser in the face with fireballs and... Done! Congratulations! You did it! Thanks for watching! Like and subscribe! More videos! Enjoy!